the end of the longer season is finally here. By the time the 2020 UEFA Champions League final kicks off on Sunday, an unprecedented 425 days will have passed since qualifying started on the 25th of June last year. So long, in fact, that qualification rounds for next season's competition are already underway. 79 teams have been whistled down to just two, Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain. The prelims included the champions of San Marino, Gibraltar, Andorra and Kosovo. Now we're left with the title winners from Germany and France. It's the first time in 22 years that the Champions League final has featured two reigning champions. The Covid-19 pandemic has ensured 2020's showpiece will be very different. It will be the first UEFA Champions League final played behind closed doors. It's the first time the fixture has been played later than June. And it's the first UEFA Champions League final played on a Sunday. This is Bayern's 11th appearance in a European Cup or Champions League final. The Germans have an equal return of wins and losses from the previous 10. At the other end of the scale, this is PSG's first ever final in the competition, becoming the 41st team to reach the showpiece since the European Cup was founded in 1955. The bad news for them is that the last six teams competing in their maiden final have all lost. The last first-time winners were Borussia Dortmund back in 1997. PSG are the fifth different French team to reach the final. But only once has a team from France won it, when Marseille beat Milan 1-0 in 1993. It could come down to a straight fight between which star player has the better game. The blue corner, Kylian Mbappe, has been involved in 26 goals in just 25 Champions League appearances for PSG. He could become just the sixth different player to score in both the final of a World Cup and a European Cup or Champions League. But he's still only 21. In the red corner is Polish hotshot Robert Lewandowski, who has scored in all nine Champions League appearances this season, with 15 goals overall. He's just two away from equaling Cristiano Ronaldo's record of 17 goals in the 2013-14 campaign for Real Madrid. And he could go one match closer to Ronaldo's record 11-game scoring run from 2018. One thing is for sure. With PSG on a record-equalling run of scoring in 34 consecutive matches in major UEFA competition and Bayern netting a record average of 4.2 times per game in this season's Champions League, you can expect goals in Lisbon on Sunday.